Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to just make something extremely simple, uh, but uh, maybe a little bit a different way that uh, some of you might not be aware of. So we're just going to make a JAN band is what we call channel set band. But uh, how we do it, we're going to use tubing instead of a uh, just a cutout where it's all solid. Uh, so today we'll just uh, go ahead and grab a, a tool, we'll grab a ring rail, and we'll go ahead and hit enter. And on that ring rail, we'll go ahead, we don't have to pick it, we can just hit that uh, profile placer, <laughs> that <laughs> profile placer, and uh, put it out there. Uh, we'll go ahead and change that profile to a little bit more uh, squared off type, and then we'll go with that one, we'll hit enter, and we'll drag it like that uh actually let's let's go back out of this let's go ahead and change that scene just for fun uh we're gonna grab that go to change seam pick that dot and just move it down to the bottom get it out of the way uh and then we'll just go ahead and switch to our uh ring rail sorry and now we'll go up here to our tools and our uh, profile placer and again uh like i said we're going to change that one so we'll change it to this here and we'll just change it to our normal uh, rounded square edge uh, one there. And I will make this a little bit thinner. <coughs> we'll take it down to maybe around a 3. Uh, well, 3.5, fine. Uh, and then we'll bump it up. We'll keep the bottom at a 2.3. We'll go ahead and place one at the top. Uh, and we'll take this one. Actually, we'll change this around a little. We'll keep that one at 3.5. We'll take this one to a 2.5. And then we'll come down here and make this one just a little thinner so it has a little taper to it. Small taper. And then we'll go ahead and activate uh, our sweep since that'll save us a step and we don't really need to... Uh, we're going to have a band, so this is, will work out perfect. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit enter. Uh, now we'll go to uh, curves. We'll go to uh, extract iso curve from our surface here. Uh, and then we'll just kind of place that right in the middle where it disappears. And that way we know it's exactly in the middle. Uh, and uh, there we have that. Uh, so now we'll grab that curve. And we'll go to our gyms and uh, gyms on curve. And here I'm going to go ahead and back out of this for a second and show something uh, that some of you might find interesting. It's, it's just a useful tool to be able to get... Uh, your stones exactly laid out. Uh, if you go to a line curve and then maybe change it to a bright color or a color that you can see pretty well, and then find out where exactly you want it to end on each side. Uh, so I'm gonna have it ending maybe, uh, let's change it to this color here. Uh, maybe ending right around here. So I'm just gonna hold down shift and draw a line straight across, right? Now I'm gonna grab that curve that, uh, on our uh, ring there off uh or what is it i forget yeah inset uh what is it called again it, our extracted iso curve yeah uh and, <laughs> and grab gi yeah, my tongue's tied up today i've been uh kind of coaching someone for some things and it's it's been a crazy day uh so let's go ahead and uh put some stones on there now we can grab that end one we can bring it around close to that right there and we'll grab this start position and drag it up uh, around here. Now we can kind of zoom in uh, and we can get that pretty much as close to that curve. It's just uh, a half a dot below maybe. Uh, and we can come over here to this other side and, and do the same thing with our start position. Uh, and they'll be uh, pretty much exactly the same. And as you can tell, it splits right through the center, uh, which means that it's it's pretty much uh, totally centered, right? So it's it's just a way to be able to get your stones laid out exactly uh where you want them uh so if you have a multi stones you can get them all laid out the same or if you have them at an angle uh there's just a, it's just a guide to be able to lay them out a little bit uh, better uh and more uh evenly uh without just eyeballing it uh so we'll go to uh let's see here we'll go to our middle and we'll just kind of click that on we'll do a little uh larger in the center this of course our spacing is taking effect now because we have different size stones out there uh so we don't need to change the ends but we do need to change uh, some of the middle here so let's go ahead and make this one just a little bit uh, bigger there we go and now it's a little off so let's change that spacing up there we go 
and we'll do something like that right and uh, now we'll go ahead and we'll drop that from girdle down to our table and actually uh, I'll just uh, leave it there because I'm going to show something uh, I think actually I'll, I'll take it just a little bit further in so I'll turn on my wireframe uh, my placement here and I'll just drop it down just a little bit more something like that and then hit enter and let's go to all perspectives I can keep an eye on this here and uh, let's go ahead and grab those gems and we'll go to our cutters and we will do a uh, channel uh, cutter here. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag that out just a little. And then I am going to change that cutter a little bit something different. And this time I'll just take this square thing here uh, and place it out. Because it's going to be channel, not uh, bright cut. Or, right? So we have that set to rounded. We want to change that to a flat. Uh, and we want to go ahead and hide our item there and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go to uh, shaded mode and we're going to kind of just watch our side right here i think it's about 90 percent so we'll just take it into around 90 percent uh, that that should be enough uh, to be able to uh, lock those stones down uh, and we're going to go ahead uh, back to uh, our shaded view and bring our ring back and now i'm going to take this uh, bottom uh, placement start all the way to the bottom and i'll go to my placement height and drag it all the way to the top uh, placement so start uh, height start right so here's height start here's placement so let's mess around with placement start first i'm going to go in here and i'm going to type in a uh, negative uh, two maybe and yeah, maybe a little bit more uh, negative uh, negative three and we have something like that that's crazy in our height we're going to go ahead and take it to a four and maybe a little bit more so we'll take it up to a five and enter okay so we have this right now uh you know there's a, a set tolerance that these will go to and then lock right but you can always go over here to your command uh or dynamic commands and, and just type in whatever you want and it'll change it up and if i hide my ring uh my my sides are are very good and they kind of go with my stones right uh so i this is uh, probably okay so let's go ahead and just say uh, this is kind of what we want and then we'll hit enter right now we can go to our uh, uh, solids menu and do a boolean difference uh, this surface enter this surface enter and enter again and we have a nice cutout uh, of all our stones right uh, and then from here let's take all our yellow turn it to gray and hide it hide it yeah Okay, so we have a nice cutout, and we have a little bit of depth here, and we're going to talk about this in a second. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and get everything else uh, organized up. So let's go ahead and turn our uh, green off. Let's grab our stones, go to our settings, and let's do just an under bezel. Uh, and of course, nothing's going to show because the stones are too small, right? No big deal. Uh, just go over here to your uh, dynamic commands and the top thickness, top thickness and bottom thickness. We just need to alter those a little bit, drop them down until they show up. And there they are. So now we can have control over our handles because we can actually see everything. So uh, from here, what I'm going to do is take that dome and I'm just going to get totally get rid of it i don't need it for this particular exercise so i'm going to take this uh angle i don't want that angle to be like that i just want it to be pretty much uh, straight with my stones right and then i'm going to take that uh height adjustment and we're going to drag it up something around 6.8 or so uh, it doesn't need to be that thick we're going to go ahead and hide our gems now so we can work on that center open it up some uh, so we're going to open it up around here uh, i think it's a 3.7 it it, your jeweler can also open it up too but we don't want to have them doing tons of extra work so we're just going to kind of line all these up so that they're pretty close uh they have a nice opening there and uh, the the jeweler can get in there when he sets it and maybe put a bulber or something make it more rounded or cone burr open them up right uh, so those stones will sit in there nice and tight 
uh so, so that's probably okay let's go ahead we could probably take this angle in a little bit more uh and we'll go ahead bring back our stones and we will go ahead and bring back our ring or our ring right so uh there's and they're all all the bezels are there let's go back and take another look here let's get rid of that ring row. uh definitely that height one will want to come up even more so somewhere around here uh and then let's turn on back on our ring and now that looks much better <laughs> uh yeah okay now we were talking about let's go to our side view right uh, our right view here and let's give it some shading we were talking about this here you know there's not a lot of metal here for the jeweler to uh smash down <laughs> with the pneumatic or the hammer right so we want to uh maybe put a little angle on that now you can use a different profile from the very get-go uh, or you can just go back in uh, and uh, select let's uh, turn those back on uh, select that uh, profile that we already have out there right and uh, you can go to edit and uh, go to uh, the profile editor right and what we can do is if we look over here right uh keep an eye on that we're going to go ahead and bump this up something like that and we're going to bump this out like that and bump this up just a little bit so we have a, a more rounded edge let's go ahead and hit that's what i want and it didn't really do anything for me did it Oh, because it's on the bottom and it's not on the top one there there it's nice and good so actually let's go uh, undo all that so that part is more solid this is the one we want up here uh, and we're going to uh, adjust this one all right uh, and then let's go into our profile editor and we'll do it to this one and we can see it update. I was wondering why it wasn't updating uh, let's keep an eye on this one up here now all right, so let's go back and do this one more time. Probably good to see, though. Uh, we'll just bump that up. There we go. And we'll bump this over out like this. And we will bump this out like this here, right? And we'll just go ahead and say, okay, that's what I want. And then uh, hit enter, right? And now we have uh, a little bit more roundedness to it, right? So we can go ahead and take these stones and we can let's turn to wireframe here we can drop that placement down a little bit more not that much somewhere around there perhaps and everything updates so let's go ahead and turn it to shaded so we can kind of see and now we have a little bit more probably a little bit more is probably good not there we go all right and everything updates along with it so uh but now we have a little ledge there at an angle uh for those stones to be the metal to be hammered uh, nice and tightly down on those stones right so let's take a look at it in perspective uh you know so now it's it's got a nice little angle there and you could even go back in there and, and change it a little bit more if you wanted a little bit more angle but it has a little bit more metal there and it comes up at a slight uh more intense angle uh to be able to uh and that way when they hammer that metal down you're still going to have a nice little lip uh thickness uh so it doesn't get all worn down right now you see uh, a lot of these rings made like this that uh, don't have any of the under bezels in them right and if you look in here they're touching on on our side so everything's uh, going to connect very good uh, you know those rings that don't have any under bezels in it that are channel set they are absolute nightmares for jewelers to size and believe me they size them all the time <laughs> uh and because when they size it those rails are so thin there that they they move and stones are popping out and uh they're they're just nightmares so it's if you want a nice quality piece of jewelry you, you'll want to go ahead and add those uh, uh under bezels in there on uh these kind of items the last thing that we probably want to do is go to our solids uh and go down to our blend right uh, get a blend select that 
uh preview yes chain edges yes and then we want to go ahead and take this edge here uh and i can't see my edge so i'm going to switch off that so i can get up here i'm just going to go down here to next and that's not the edge i want that one is and go to uh next and bring this up here yeah that's the one i want and then go to next uh yeah that's cool and next that's good and next not that one this one here next nope yes and our last one there next and it closed it off okay so now we have that right so let's go ahead and hit uh preview is to yes so we can get a preview of it uh two uh two should be okay so let's go ahead and take that and take a look yeah two looks good we just want to round that off so on the finger it's it's not digging in to the the customer's hand right uh and then we'll go ahead and hit enter and it'll update and then check for our uh closed poly service and we are and you actually have a uh, item that is uh good to go just have to boolean those i uh, uh heads in there so you just go to your solids uh go in here boolean union select our i ring enter our uh bezels we'll take them all and then we'll hit enter and bingo uh you're you are done uh, we have this we'll go ahead and change it to gray and we have one there and one there and bring back our stones and you're 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 good to go and you have a nice uh opened air uh channel ring which actually really uh, to me i think looks uh, a lot better than just having them uh you know the metal being seen it it, it just kind of offers a more cleaner look uh plus it's also um offers a lot more light for the stones right and plus we're we're dropping some weight on the the ring itself uh so that uh the cost will be down a little bit so and these are popcorn uh these these kind of things uh, people buy all the time you can make stackables out of them uh you know where you have one here we'll go ahead and dupe this hold down alt bring it out uh, something like that and uh, we'll just we'll just grab another one here just for fun and bring it out Oop. something like that and now we have uh, a stackable uh, ring right that they can wear one's rubies one sapphires one diamonds they can make all kind of combinations and change it up uh, they can wear one by itself if they're wearing a green dress they can wear the emerald one you know whatever uh but there you go uh hopefully that uh just gives you a little bit you know as far as cutting that channel out and there is uh, i did one earlier that had a three-sided so what i'm talking about is uh the side of the ring uh kind of uh went up like this where it had channel set stones across like this and then down on the other side right something like this and it was this was the would be the profile look so i'd stone set in here stone set in here stone set in here uh these offer a little bit different challenges and we'll get into that at another video uh in order to get those uh angles it's not as easy as just slapping the the under bezels because the under bezels you know you want your channel straight so this channel's not cutting into this one and this one you know it's it makes a big mess in the center you want this channel straight you want this channel straight and you want that channel straight uh and then when you go to put the bezels in uh you know you have a the bezel going like this which uh is not good but you, there's ways to fix that uh so we'll, we'll talk about that in a future video uh but this is just kind of the the get started one uh and hopefully it helps and if it does please leave a like subscribe and a comment below and share the videos please uh thanks for all the support and good designing